John Paul Gautier's Ultramal, BPI, and Antonio Bush. Is there really a difference? Or is it just some hyping hoax shit? Let's find out. Welcome back, Fragrance Family. And as you've seen from the introduction, is it a hoax or is it true? Is there a difference between these two formulas, the Antonio Pooch versus the BPI version? Now, just a reminder to everyone, I have tested these two side by side for the course of five days on my skin and on my clothes. So yeah, I know what I'm talking about here. So you see, there are a lot of people in the community that's hyping up the differences saying that the BPI version is better than the uh, later Antonio Pooj version. Now I'm going to dispel that hoax or that myth or whatever you want to call it. But before that, a little history. As you know, one of the most uh, recommended most compliment getting fragrances that's uh i don't know it has been reviewed by a lot of youtubers over the course of the years lots of people testifying that this gets them compliments this makes uh ladies notice them so yeah overall this is a very good cologne but there are some people who are you know spreading rumors that one is better than the other so let's see the differences for the top notes as you can tell top notes of ultra mall has this refreshing sweet um what do you call this the pear note the pear along with the uh i'd say lavender i, I get the lavender note that's in there on the top notes uh, they're basically the same um i've tried the bpi version here the antonio Pudge version here for the top notes, first 15 minutes, I don't see any differences. None. BPI, uh, BPI and Antonio Pooch. Top notes, no differences. Come to the mid notes. Um, I say the pear is getting stronger along with the lavender and the cinnamon. And unfortunately, still, there are no differences in the mid notes. I'm still getting those uh, bit of greens from the uh, lavender, the mint, the pear, the cinnamon, the amber. It's still all there on both versions, all right? Both versions. After 30 minutes to an hour, mid notes, no differences. Still no differences. Now, going on to the dry down, there's this small difference. Just a very minor difference. The one. The BPI one, this one has, I'd say, more of a sandalwood, um, it's more sandalwood uh, dominant, I'd say, in the dry down. While the Antonio Pudge version, um, luckily enough for me, I want the uh, Antonio Pudge version better. This one has sweeter bass notes versus this. This one is woody, sandalwood. At the dry down this one is sweeter it still has that sandalwood but it is sweeter it's it seems like that the pear note and the cinnamon note is seeping you know until the base well in this one uh, it's just sandalwood that's retained at the base so this is the main differences from the top the mid and the bottom it's not much of a difference to be honest is it worth seeking out the BPI version no. Fuck no. The Antonio Pooj one is just still worth it. Yes, I prefer this better. I think this is um this is a uh two thousand and uh eighteen bottle, I guess, or two thousand and seventeen. This one is the Antonio Pooj bottle. These are the bottles that are I'd say available at your local malls or on your uh local online discounters. This is the current version. I like the current version for the performance of both. First, um, the projection. It's famous for its um, beastly projection. A lot of reviewers are testifying on how beastly Ultra Male is or Ultra Mal, whichever you prefer. But I'd say both are performing 
similar on me. Um, similar projection, still beast mode for both BPI and Antonio Pruge. Um, I'd say it's not much of a difference in terms of uh, projection. Now for the longevity for both, again, still the same. The rumors are not true. There are no differences in the projection and the longevity of both. It's not true, all right? It's not worth seeking the, uh, the earlier BPI batches. By the way, I have run through a couple of these uh, samples of uh, BPI. I think I've run through three or three or four of these, comparing side by side to these. So yeah, um, rumors are not true. It's 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 not worth seeking out the BPI or whichever one that you have, it would suffice, to be honest. Longevity stays with me, 10 plus hours, uh, minimum, I'd say minimum, 10 plus hours, consistently, both formulas. So in conclusion, uh, I, think, I think the moral of the story here is, I'd say it feels bad that some reviewers are spreading false rumors regarding the differences. Uh, some reviewers are saying, oh, you must get the BPI version because it's, uh, you know, it lasts longer, it projects better. Bullshit. No. Both are performing the same, alright? It's not worth seeking one over the other. Let's not be... Let's not be judgmental of newer releases or, let's say, newer versions. Um, let's say this one is the newer version. It doesn't mean that the newer version is worse than the older version. At times, it could be a better uh, version. You know, I like in this case, I like this uh, the latter version better than the older one, which is quite woody on the dry down. This one retains the smoothness. Um, do do the testing by yourself. I mean, test it on your skin, test it on your clothes, test it on thick fabrics, and you will see the difference. Uh, I think you could also dispel the myths of other um, reforms or vintages versus the new ones by, by doing the tests on your own. So yeah, in conclusion, I just want to give you my honest opinions here. I just want what's the best for you so I can recommend you the best colognes so I could review them in all honesty. BPI versus Antonio Puj, which one is better? I don't know, I like Antonio Pooch better. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, honest one-on-one -on -one, uh, comparison with the Antonio Pooch and this uh, BPI version. I hope the rumor stops, all right? Stops up rumor spreading. It's not good for the community. The community deserves to have the best colognes that they can have for their dollar, for their money, all right? As always, these are just my recommendations. I'd say honest recommendations, opinions, and my suggestions. And at the end of the day, you do you. This has been your host, Alex. And yeah, thank you for your time. Love you guys. I'm out.